Another place where this technique is incredibly useful is in the programming of drums. So I'm going to bring in a drum and bass break that I've got here to demonstrate. So I'm going to add this in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this on on the same track and then use uh, the tempo list to create a tempo change, as you've already seen, at bar 11 here. There we go. So add this in and change this to 170, which is the tempo of the loop. And then let's just loop this up. So give it a listen. So what I want out of this is that snare. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And let me just get up the scissors tool. And let me find it. There it is. So it's going to cut this snare out. And to make this easier to work with, I'm going to drop it onto another audio channel here. Bring up the pointer and drop this down. So I'm going to kind of shorten this right up. I'm looking for kind of fairly firing snares here. Again, zoom in. Let's have a look at what we got. I'm looking about 120. There we go. Brilliant. So I'm going to copy this up. Let's have this, I don't know, a few times. Like so. And let's just give this a listen and see what it sounds like. That's the kind of thing. So it's a bit uh, on the harsh side. So what I'm going to do is just going to go in on these. And then I can just go in and drop down the volume. See the gain here. So yeah, let's just drop that down by say minus three. Next one down by... Minus six. Then minus 12. And yeah, keep going. So I'm going to run out of them at the end there, but that's volume wise, but that's fine. Minus 24. Minus 36. And then on the final one there, minus 48. Okay, so that then gives me this snare fade out, which I'm then going to merge together using the glue tool. So with this in place, you can kind of hear that, that sort of machine gun type snare. What I can then do is to make use of the slowdown. So make sure I'm going to use the fade tool for this. And I can use any kind of curve I want. So let's just give this a listen. So that's using the slow down curve to help in the programming of your beats. Every two weeks in the course, uh, an assignment is set. So once I've done my assignment, which is essentially a track, I upload it for my tutor to download and he sends me back a DVR which is a direct video response. It's a video produced by your tutor um, that is sent to you personally every couple of weeks while you're, you're studying, giving you immediate feedback on your production. It's something that enables the students to have a one-to-one -one connection with their tutor. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. And I think this kind of steel can sound is brilliant. I mean, that's, that's a real kind of hook of the track, this. Maybe let's just try uh, recording something in. The response that the tutor gives is completely tailored to the student's style of music or the level that they're at as well. So it might be nice to spice up this drum track by adding a delay and you can see I've put one here in the return of the drum rack and uh, if we just apply that to the clap now, you see it has a really nice effect. If you want to check out the whole range of online courses, go to pointblankonline.net. Thank you.